Hi, my name is Katie Butler, and I am a certified therapeutic recreation specialist here at Gaylord, and my lecture is on leisure. Leisure is a part of a person's total well-being, and my job as a therapeutic recreation specialist is to return a person to that total well-being. So we are using recreation as a form of therapy and getting the patient involved in activities they did prior to their stay at Gaylord and or getting them involved in things that they might not have known about. So for example, I work both inpatient and also with the Sports Association, which is our adaptive sports program here at Gaylord. And a participant can start out as an inpatient and try any number of 15 different sports. Of course, that might be different from person to person. That's okay, that's the whole point of leisure. Getting involved in something that might be a little bit different and getting into kind of an inclusive environment. So with others with similar disability, maybe with not so much similar disability, but really returning them to some sort of prior level of functioning. It might be modified and in a wheelchair, maybe it's standing or maybe it's progressing to standing depending on level of injury, but really working with each unique individual and finding out what their needs are. Modifications can be very simple, they can be very extensive, but it's all about having that really good feeling of being able to return to something that somebody really loved in the past. Oftentimes when somebody experiences a very traumatic event um, and has this new diagnosis, they don't know how they're going to proceed forward. And leisure is that free time, those activities we enjoy doing, different from person to person, but really encompassing all different domains of wellness. So wellness is often defined as total spiritual, emotional, coping skills, all those different domains that people can get back involved in once they're here at Gaylord. Sometimes the leisure sessions and recreation sessions can be based in a one-to-one -one session. It can be a group. It can sometimes be as simple as just socializing with somebody. But it's all about getting the person out of their room for a little bit and trying a new experience and getting them to really see what else is out there. So one of the main goals of participating in therapeutic recreation is really working on enhancing the confidence to try some new things. We're working on that whole work-life balance. So prior to any kind of injury, permanent or um, something that's going to get better, people generally spend most of their time 50-50 going to school or work and then with that leisure time. Now, once you've experienced something like a spinal cord injury, it's not just 50-50, it's 50% of maintenance, of going to those doctor's appointments, maintaining your own care and wellness, and then you have a lot more free time. So it's now finding more things to do in that free time and not just being in a room by yourself. So getting that opportunity to really kind of express yourself and try something new. So therapeutic recreation really helps to enhance the quality of life because people get to do something that they love to do. So one of the things I always go back to is getting somebody involved in something that maybe they never thought they had the confidence to try. So quality of life can be different from person to person, but quality of life is just getting out there and trying something different for a little bit and eliminating that stigma of disability. If you look at something like kayaking and everybody's out on the water, everybody's in a boat, you don't necessarily see that disability. I get to be out on the water in perfect weather and nobody knows that anything's wrong. So it's a great way of just, you know, really making somebody have that total wellness of I'm still okay. So really recreation is that whole idea of going in and changing somebody's day to the more positive note and really getting them involved and back to their baseline. So therapeutic recreation is a treatment modality used to restore and remediate a person back to their baseline health and wellness. Some of the services that therapeutic recreation provides are adaptive sport. We also do some one-to-one -one sessions. So that could be anything from working on fine motor control with a card game or a board game and manipulating those pieces could also be more of a physical activity, which could link back to adaptive sport, could be something as simple as a game of cornhole. It can also be a social experience, so getting the person involved in something like music therapy, or even just socializing with their peers. And then it can also be that whole um, mindful and wellness of getting the person back to their baseline of coping and all of that that comes along with the recovery process. So therapeutic recreation runs groups pretty much five days a week. Uh, we run an afternoon and an evening program. Um, so the afternoon is about an hour from 3.30 to 4.30, and then evening is 6 o'clock. And it can be anything from something like an opportunity to try out an adaptive sport. So for instance, trying virtual boxing, or trying something like gardening in our greenhouse, or going and doing cooking with us upstairs in our small kitchen. So an opportunity to try out a bunch of different things that 
you know, you get to try as a group of people and maybe you've made connections with others in groups down, down in the inpatient gym. The camaraderie component is so important. You know, it often gets people talking. You know, people are not always afraid to go up to somebody and kind of say like, hey, what's going on? And how, you know, how can we get together and talk about this? Or do you want to talk about it? And sometimes it really is a great opportunity for people to get out of their shell a little bit. And that's the great part because it's, you know, it's not just all spinal cord injury. It can be spinal cord and stroke and it can be a wide variety of ages. It could be that 16 year old that's coming up to group with that 70 something year old. And it doesn't matter, you know, age is not a thing. It's everybody gets involved and everybody gets to do something like we bowling and just have fun for a little bit and laugh. We also work alongside music therapy. Music therapy is part of the recreation department and that can assess a whole bunch of different goals for the patient. Even just as simple as getting back to playing a guitar or a piano or other musical instrument. And even just having a little bit of fun and just laughing for a little bit. Another thing that we get to do here as recreation therapists and with leisure is work with other disciplines. So oftentimes I am able to grab a physical therapist or occupational therapist. We can work together to achieve the patient's goal. So for example, um, getting a patient involved in something like archery, and we're working on a goal of maintaining that core support and being able to sit upright. But now we also have the physical therapist that might be lending a hand to either, you know, have them stand up and or just even be more stable in the wheelchair. For adaptive sports, uh, especially at Gaylord, spinal cord injury is one of our biggest populations that partake in our sports here at Gaylord. So there's a bunch of different ways we can adapt to sport, um, starting with the something like downhill skiing. So instead of standing to ski, we are sitting in a ski that's kind of on a bucket with two skis underneath and then outriggers. And they have a couple instructors behind them as well. Similarly, for those with spinal cord injury, water skiing kind of looks similar. You're also in more of like a almost surfboard ski with a bucket on top so that you can still ski, but you're seated. Another great modification if somebody is a cyclist prior to being at Gaylord and then had a, a spinal cord injury, they can get into a hand cycle. So now instead of pedaling with feet, we're pedaling with arms. And we also have the opportunity to even have a power assist on that and electronic shifting that just gives that little extra if somebody is a little bit weak in any of their extremities. So for other sports, most of the sports can be made into a wheelchair based sport. So for something like basketball, you're in more of a lighter frame wheelchair with uh, wheels that turn very quickly and easily. Um, so you can still be seated to play the sport. And then something like uh, hockey, it's called sled hockey. So you're actually similarly to skiing in a bucket kind of seat straight onto the ice with the blades underneath. And you're pushing with the two sticks that actually have the picks on them that allow you to propel forward. There is pretty much a modification for every single sport and there's different ways of modifying it. And the really great part about it is every single modification is individualized to the person. So sometimes even if it's not a known modification, we can make it work. And oftentimes with sports and some of the more physical sports, duct tape is your best friend. So there is always a modification. <laughs> The Sports Association is Gaylord's Adaptive Sports Program. It's open to anybody with a physical disability that is permanent or a visual impairment, and it's open to those 16 and above. And the real great part about Gaylord is that inpatients can try it out while they're in-house and then continue on once they're back out into the community. So again, those co-treatment sessions, even one-to-one -one sessions of being able to do programming through the Sports Association, both virtually, in a group setting, in a one-to-one -one session, and getting involved in something that maybe they never knew that they enjoyed before. Um, so the Sports Association offers 15 different sports throughout the year. Most are free of charge or minimal cost. And it's everything from archery, golf, tennis, wheelchair rugby, some competitive sports, and all great opportunities to get involved in, you know, with like-minded people but also a great opportunity to try something new and challenge yourself. So another great opportunity that the Sports Association does annually is their 5K Gaylord Gauntlet. So it's a great chance for friends, family, as well as past patients to actually come back through and participate in this mud run, basically, throughout our campus and our grounds. And each year, the Sports Association actually picks an adaptive athlete. Um, it can be any diagnosis, but somebody that needs a little bit of a help of a support of a team. Team is made up of a lot of their therapists, and it's somebody that wants to be able to complete this 5K and have a goal of being able to go, go through the course with modification. So in years past, we've actually been able to highlight a couple of our adaptive athletes that have had spinal cord injury. So leisure education is a really important topic within therapeutic recreation, and oftentimes people think that Leisure education is something boring, something that happens in a classroom. And it's really even just listening to this current lecture and hearing all the different opportunities that exist in recreation. So being exposed to different opportunities that 
maybe you didn't know were out there. And asking those questions of how do we access leisure, how what's available in the community, what resources. And that's the therapeutic recreation specialist's job to tailor each opportunity to the participant, to the person with a spinal cord injury, and really find out what's most important to them. So one thing that I always love to stress to all my patients, no matter, no matter the diagnosis, but especially with spinal cord injury, is it's not the end of it all to have a spinal cord injury. And we encourage people to participate throughout their stay. And sometimes it's not necessarily their time yet, but across the lifespan, we love to get people back involved. And where there's a will, there's a way, and there is a modification for anybody. So just in closing, I'd like to encourage anybody that has a spinal cord injury or has been here at Gaylord or not to come back to us and participate in recreation and leisure and that there is a way to modify any different kind of sport or activity and get back to that feeling of well-being and happiness.